So I just drained my gearbox. <laughs> it's it's got quite a bit of metal in it right now. So uh, yeah, let's just let's go check this out. My little homemade funnel here. Try and do this one handed as best I can. That's my sump plug, or that's my drain plug. Damn, son. That is, I'm assuming, a part of third gear. The rest of it's probably all mangled in this little sock. Oh yeah, there's plenty in there. <laughs> there's some more, there's some more. Oh. Found third. She's a mangled mess. I drained it four times and it's still pretty, uh, yeah, you can probably hear it. it. It's still pretty gearbox marbly from the, the third gear demolition. So, um, yeah, I'm not too sure what to do at this stage. Do I, do I keep trying to drain it and flush it out or? see what happens um, right now I'm driving in rear-wheel drive mode I took the front shaft out so there's no point in even trying to boost I just wanted to take it around the block to see uh, to see if the grinding and all that stuff came back so um, yeah keep going here we go so, drain this gearbox again I haven't been to the car in a few weeks, so pretty sure she's gonna be pretty nasty under there. Let's uh let's have a look. Oh, it's on the other side. Come on, man, go. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Come on, keep going, keep going. Get out of here. <laughs> Aggressive little thing. Uh, See how dirty she is. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. You are nasty. Good thing I got cover. No doubt she's probably dead. Yeah, completely dead. So I got I won this platinum brace. I don't know, a few months back. I just never had a chance to put it on. I might uh I might just stick that on for you guys. We'll come back to that though. Just 
fell off. Alright, so cars on jack stands. Now, last week I already took the uh, front shaft out. So it'll make, um, it'll make getting out uh, our draining the, the gearbox a lot easier. I couldn't think of what, what I was saying. <clears throat> it's a four minute job, it's literally four bolts right at the end. And then the whole slat, the whole shaft just kind of pops out. So much easier to do it this way than sit there and just mess around with the sump plug hole or drain hole, whatever you want to call it, uh, for half an hour, you know, trying to trying to drain the damn thing. So five minute job, remove the shaft, and boom, we're off. So now I'll just start draining the gearbox again, start it up. Once I've jumped it, I'll start it up and see if we still get the marbly sound from the gearbox. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so now that it's drained, I'm gonna see if I can't fish around and get any more huge chunks of metal out. Alright, I don't feel anything else now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill it back up. Alright! I think we might be good. Let's uh What just happened? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Well, still marbly. So at this stage, what I'm gonna have to do is probably drop the gearbox out completely. Uh, Engine's perfect, but the freaking gearbox just sounds terrible. So, yeah, the only option it seems that I've got is replace the box with another stock box or just take, take mine out and clean out all the, the crap that's in there. I kind of don't want to get another stock box 
even though it probably would be the easier option, because um, it's just going to lead me to being in the exact same place after spending, you know, a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks on a, on a factory gearbox that's second hand. For that kind of money, I'd rather just save up a little bit more and just go the gear set. So the saga continues. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take these cam covers off and uh, replace the stock CAS bracket, crank angle sensor bracket, with this one, sweet platinum uh, racing brace. Get it to focus. Come on, super Gidishi camera, there we go. Um, yeah, shouldn't be too hard. I've only got three bolts on my cam cover to pull it off and then it's just the CAS itself. Um, to which my timing and everything was set inside on the ECU so all I gotta do is just turn mine all the way um, to the right so that way the markings are to the as max as they'll go. Um, that way there's no issue with where I need to put it uh, to keep everything in sync. Look at that. These bad boys have wanted to come off, but they didn't. Dying. All right, let's break out the tools. All right, let's pull this bad boy off. That is your cars. Now, let's pull this cover off. All right, so stock cars bracket. With that stock bracket, you have to run this gasket on your cam cover. With our new platinum racing bracket, you don't have to run this because the bracket's been made to suit that. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. That silica breath. So what do you guys think? Should I run no, <clears throat> should I run no, uh, no cover? The new one or go back to Full RB26 gold cover, but cover up that gas bracket. Shout out to uh, Platinum Product. Pl platinum. Shout out to Platinum for making that. Platinum Racing Products. Go check them out on Instagram. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of torn. I don't know if I should use the cover or not. I mean, obviously, this little bit, I'll clean all that up, you know. But, um,. Yeah, I, just, I don't know what I want to do. I like the I like the no cover look, but I like it with the cover as well. So I don't know. What do you guys think I should do?